I never get used to talking to a camera, but I mean, you guys are out there. People just like me. And I'm grateful to have all of you guys. Now, I haven't been unhealthy in this way, at least, as long as the most of you have been. You guys probably have gone on for years. And I'm starting to understand it because you don't really understand something until you go through it. And it really sucks, and I'm so sorry. Seems like every step I take forward, I take three back. And the cycle just keeps going on and on. And not only that, my hair is falling out like crazy. It's so bad. The other side effect I have is suicidal thoughts. I've always been one of those people that are disappointed about people that commit suicide because it's so selfish. And now look at me. I am fighting myself every day not to do something stupid. They are so loud and I never thought it would hit me this hard. It's especially late at night or when I'm alone. And it's crazy because I've gotten so close and I was so against it when I read the symptoms or the, you know, all this stuff about the specific problem, it listed suicide and I didn't believe it. But I've been having them and it's really hard to talk yourself out of it. This is crazy. Maybe I can't really do it on my own. I've tried to secretly um, signal my family about it. Like I'll tell them, you know, try to get them to talk me out of it. But I just can't tell them I'm suicidal because it's just so embarrassing and a lot of the times it's are the reason I haven't done it and you know every attempt I just think about them and how badly it would affect them honestly if I didn't have them I I would be dead by now a long time ago I just feel like I'm not strong enough for the world. I wasn't meant to exist. There's no place for me here. And I've only been going through this bullshit for a few months. I was, I have not been this extreme with, you know, eating and losing weight. I've never been this extreme and it just got out of control so sad that trying to find control and you found chaos you know my brother was telling me he looked me on the eye and said everything is gonna be okay he knows something's up and he just said everything's gonna be fine we're gonna be okay and I couldn't look him in the eye and tell him I might not be here I'm starting to say goodbye to people. Oh, it's so stupid. Like, I'm trying to be as nice as possible to everybody because I'm afraid that that will be the last memory they have of me. That's so messed up. I want to write letters. Just in case. It's like I'm playing this game with Ed. 
where we're both trying to sabotage each other's plans to destroy me or to put me back to being normal. And we're both losing. But it's still tearing me apart. You know, he's convincing me to go run a lap. To not eat. And if you do, you should just... You should just kill yourself. Meanwhile, I'm over here like... Run a lap so you won't purge. Eat that sandwich so Ed freaks out and you can, you know, get used to him freaking out. It's so sad though because Ed came to distract me from other pain. And now he's my enemy. I don't know what to do. It feels like nothing is going to get me out of this. I'm not strong enough. The purging restriction is never going to end. And I'm too embarrassed to ask for help. It just feels like nobody has the time, you know? I wish I could just tell them. But... I don't know. I try to talk sometimes and if normal things get shut down or something like this, I'm just gonna disappoint people more than I already have. I'm constantly stopping myself from having breakdowns in front of people for no reason. Like someone will say something It'll make me sad and I'll just want to burst out crying and screaming. But it's like, you can't. You have to act normal. And for some reason, it feels like I'm stuck that way. I don't know what to do. I wonder what you guys do. Especially, you know... You've been putting up with this completely alone without telling anybody. I never had to talk myself out of dying. Like, today I, I thought, you ate with everybody and you did not get rid of it. Go on a walk. It's negative four degrees. You're going on a walk. And if no car sees you because it's night out and it hits you, at least it's over. And I walked all the way. And the day before I walked too, I had... I had a breakdown and... I cried all the way to McDonald's. I didn't go inside because it was closed, but... It made me feel better. And I froze so bad. And I remember thinking, oh, the pain of freezing was actually a relief because I could feel something else other than what I was thinking. Everyone just sleep and I'm in here. The way I can control those suicidal thoughts I'm starting to get is by restriction. Um, if I start exercising or I don't eat, those thoughts don't cross my mind as much. Could be because I'm too tired and hungry to think about it. But as soon as I start getting back to normal, they come in. I'll be doing the most random thing and it'll hit me. It'll be this voice tells me, you know what you should do? You see that car coming in? Run in front of it. Let's get this over with. Just run in front of it. You see that knife right there? Put your arms open. Do it the right way. Let's not waste any time. 
and right before I start, you know, heading towards it, following orders, I think about my family and how badly it would affect my siblings and how much more disappointed my brother would be in me. And I don't know why, but you know, my siblings, I was very close to them. And the youngest, he's still here with me. And by here, I mean like he really hears me out still. The other two are kind of sick of my bullshit and I don't blame them for it, but they're kind of like, because I spend so much time in my head and I just don't know what to do with my life. And even if I did, I, I don't think I'd be good enough. So I just have this constant, you know, um, knocking myself down all the time, not believing I'm good enough and they can, so the only one left is the youngest and to see him cry is the most painful thing. Like, I cannot hear him cry. Like, just thinking about it makes me want to tear up. He's such a good person. And I don't want to... I don't want him to go through the trauma of losing me, you know? I really don't... I don't want to do that to him. But I don't want to be here, honestly. Like, I really don't want to do anything anymore. I feel like the best times are over and I'm done. I'm over it. Summer, winter, it's all the same. I used to be excited about the snow, Christmas, and 4th of July, and all that stuff, and I don't feel the same anymore. It all feels, I don't know, not worth it. But maybe it's normal to think this way because I was out there hearing my, si my sister and my brother talking and I just sat there looking at them, trying not to cry because it happens now. I get tears in my eyes for no reason. Maybe it's because seeing them want to live and look forward to life makes me feel like, damn, so maybe something really is wrong with you. You don't care. You don't, you don't want to do anything. You can't do anything. Not with that mindset and they were just so happy talking like it's so full of life and I'm sitting there hoping I could get infected with that hoping I can get a little bit of it but no it worked the opposite direction my sister started talking and sounding a lot like the thoughts I have in my head it made me feel so sad like did I do that am I the reason you feel like that it wasn't supposed to be like that she told me, like, I just feel like nothing's worth it anymore. I'm like, I know. There was a sad, sadly, there was a sign of relief in me. Like, thank you. Like, you know how I feel. But it's not good. Because I was hoping they had enough energy to live to give me a little bit of some. Like, can I get some donations, please? Like, I want to want to live. Like, I want to look forward to something. I want my life to mean something other than don't eat that. You know, go do the equation for literally everything that hits your tongue. You're working that out, getting rid of it. That's not a life. Am I infecting people with my negativity? It sounds like everything I say is a wrong thing. Like, I'll say something and everybody's kind of, like, bored or annoyed. Somebody else says something and everybody's hearing them. I have to wait. I'm not worth listening to. But you guys are different. You guys are listening to me because we're in the same boat. It's sinking right now. But slowly. And I've tried to jump off. But I haven't jumped off yet. I should get help. Professional help, but... I tried. I tried to get help before. 
not for my eating disorder, but I was in a very, how do I say this? I've never been a positive person. So I try to see somebody. It's really hot in here. I think I'm like 102 now. But once we get into a routine, we'll start weighing less because my conscience hates me too. Soon, every time somebody talks about the future and, oh, I'm gonna do this and that, and I'm always thinking like, oh, I wish I could see it. I wish I could be there to see it. Because at, at this rate, I, I don't know. You know, my friend, one of my friends in high school once told me when I was very sad, she told me that the only good thing about being so down is that there's only one way to go from here and that is up. I'm waiting and no, I'm, I, I hit the ground and I'm still digging to get down even deeper. Like really. I need something to bring me up. You know, I was gonna, I was telling you guys before it turned off on me that I try to get professional help, therapy or whatever, for my nightmares because at one point I started getting really bad nightmares and sleep paralysis. It was so bad to the point where I could not sleep and I would take, I would drink a lot of caffeine, a lot of energy drinks. I would shift, double shift at my old job so I would have the excuse of not sleeping as much because I was so scared and paranoid. My sister would have to stay with me while I slept and try to wake me up before I freaked out. It was so bad when um, I started a relationship. I started dis disrupting his sleep. You know, Jason could not sleep anymore. It was bothering him. So I talked to my brother about it and he told me to go see a therapist and I tried to talk to a therapist but she she didn't seem like she really cared and she kept you know talking about the money and stuff and I just felt like I was paying somebody to listen to me and she wasn't really telling me what to do I need guidance she was just telling me the like mo like google stuff I could search up like, oh, you need, you need a, eight hours of sleep, so you stop getting out. No, shit, like, I can't get eight hours of sleep. I'm scared to sleep. And if you guys find my Instagram, um, it's mainly just about nightmares, stuff like that. I, you know, when my brother sent one up and told me you should make one, he told me to just like put net cool pictures of me and all that, but it just felt uncomfortable for me. Like I just, being a model and being all cute and stuff, it does not work for me. So I tried to go the route of expressing my nightmares and quotes that make sense with it. So that's what it's a little bit about. And I'm slowly trying to secretly talk about, you know, this problem, Ed's bullshit. So if you hear me, you know, if you see something that kind of sounds like Ed, it's because I'm trying to secretly, you know, it's it's about that too. Because my nightmares have gotten less, and now it's just Ed in my head all the time. That that rhymed. It was embarrassing to pretend it didn't happen, but um, everybody on there does not know about this, so don't tell them. I'm not ready for everybody to know. I wish um, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't so embarrassed about it, but it happens. Now I wish I could tell my sister and my brother. You know, I tried to kill myself the other day. It's such a funny story. Like I actually stared at a knife for a few minutes and I tried to kill myself. Maybe then they'd help me, but everybody's so busy, like, who am I to be taking their time, you know? 
and they're like, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's like, can you not? Because see, if you go to sleep, I'm gonna sit in my room and probably try to kill myself. You know, like I, I need to be with somebody to distract me, but no, see, I'm thinking. <laughs> when I was the happiest that I've been in a while was when I worked. Cause you can't think when you're working, right? You can't because you're busy working. So I'm going to, to to try to distract myself by working. Like I was, I was built to work. I need to try to distract myself. If I'm busy, I, you know, Ed can't bother me too much. So I do have a new job, and I really hope it works out. Cause right now, <laughs> the lady that hired me has no idea that she's really just saving my life. Like, <laughs> like when she shook my hand welcome i wanted to shake your hand you you saved me i was gonna kill myself like because of you hiring me i'm not gonna kill myself now you just saved a life for now at least so stupid i'm slowly going crazy yeah so if you guys find me on instagram please please don't write anything about it and my youtube channel because nobody knows about it there. So embarrassing. Because they don't know about my problems, you know. And anybody else who's new here, welcome to, um, I don't know what we are, but we'll, we're all struggling together. And if you're not, if you don't have this problem, don't, don't do it don't do it it sucks it really sucks don't listen to you know people that think it's cool think it's glamorous there's nothing glamorous about losing your teeth losing your hair and your mind because it sucks it's very lonely all your messages by the way are really cool I don't think any therapy would have helped me as much as you guys' messages. And I can't, I'm trying to figure out why I can't respond to all of them. But I tried to respond to most. I think I did. I'm not in this alone. It feels like I am, but... <sighs> but... Thanks for listening to my for long ass conversation about suicidal thoughts and hopefully next time I see you guys I'll be at a better place but you know when I first started this my intention is to show you guys how I'm trying to get better and if I don't show the bad then it'd be a lie so, that's, this is one of them. I'm thankful I have you guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. And if you're not, you're not alone. You know, just think about whatever you're feeling. We're, most of us might be there too. And if you guys have had suicidal thoughts because of, you know, falling too deep into Ed or just in general, let me know what you guys did to feel better because I need to try it. I hope I didn't get you guys down, but I just wanted to be honest. You know, and I'll see you guys.